I recently read an incredible book titled Echo by the author Pamela Munoz Ryan. It's a great uh, young adult look. This is the Scholastic Edition. It's a great young adult look um, at the intersecting lives of young people and how they are connected and changed through their love of music and making music. And I highly recommend it. It was great. It's been a great uh, tearjerker a little bit, especially for somebody who spent his whole career working with children. The last third of the book is about a young girl in California and her family are migrant workers. And one day her parents come home or she comes home from school and her parents say, we're moving tomorrow. And they're moving from Fresno to Orange County. And it's really an emotional time for this young girl. She loves her friends, she loves her school, she loves her teacher. And she's kind of ripped out with very, very little notice um, and moved across the great state of California to Orange County where she doesn't know anybody and she needs to start in a new school system. Without giving too much away uh, from this story, what I wanted to share with all of you is that it really reminded me the power that the classroom teacher has to welcome and embrace all students as soon as they arrive in our classrooms. Teacher plays such an incredible, incredibly important role in the lives of children, and I know you already know that, and obviously that's why I certainly dedicated my life to work in public education, but it just really reinforced to me those first few minutes and hours and days and the way we greet students and greet families and give them strong, equitable educational experiences, uh, it makes all the difference. And it can make all the difference for generations of families. So again, I, I highly encourage Echo um, by Pamela Munoz Ryan. It's a, a very powerful story and I think it'll touch your heart if you are a, a uh, public school educator. It reminded me that in my career as either a principal or an administrator, um, I always looked for the very best candidates, right? I always looked for the best teachers, the best classified staff. And it took me a while to learn that I could teach someone content knowledge and some of the skills of being a classroom teacher, but I couldn't teach them to love children and to enjoy their daily work. So I always looked for people who in their heart loved working with children and enjoyed kind of creating these learning opportunities for all children and supporting them both emotionally um, and academically, giving them the supports they needed to be successful. Uh, but I couldn't teach someone to care about children and families. I could expose them to opportunities but that's something that comes from your heart. So I always looked for candidates who had that in their heart. That means as a school district, you need to have a really strong, robust professional development program uh, so that you can teach the skills of teaching or you can teach that specific content knowledge. Like I think about math right now. Math has changed so drastically. There's so much to talk about in mathematics. We can teach teachers those things but we can't teach them to love kids. So I always looked for the people who love children and just wanted to dedicate their lives to supporting them both emotionally and academically. And again, check out this book. It's a good one.